Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a couple of weeks again. Um, as you can hear, I'm not all that flush at the moment in terms of my uh, voice. Um, I sort of got over that cold I had when I recorded my last video. And this has sort of been lingering around for a couple of weeks. So again, I'm going to do the best I can for this video. Um, so you just have to excuse it. And if I cough or take a sip of water, it's just to sort of clear my voice a little bit. Um, I actually completely lost my voice yesterday and earlier today, so it's nice to be speaking again. So, <clears throat> so yeah, here we have Jaina Solo, which I got from RobotKingdom.com. Um, they're a company out of the Hong Kong. Got here really quickly. Um, I'm really stoked to have it. I've had it for three days now. Um, came in the mail on... Monday, yeah, it must have been Monday, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's a really good figure, but uh, yeah, work's just been cr pretty crazy the last couple of weeks, which is why I haven't been able to really get better, because I've just been working like 10, 11 hour days, it's been a bit ridiculous, um, but it's the pre-Christmas rush, so <clears throat> it's bound to happen, but uh, anyway, let's open this one up and have a look, let's have a look at the box first. Let's look at Jaina Solo there. She is number 56. Legends. So they've filed her under the Legends banner there. I'm not, I can't remember if they did that with Darth Revan or not, but I assume that gives them the license to sort of do um, Legends characters or old expanded universe characters, which is cool. And there's a little right up there. nice obviously being from uh, Hong Kong they've got an extra little sticker here which will come off pretty easily yeah it'll peel off nice and easily but it looks good in the box too it's a it's an absolute cracking figure so I'll open it up and I'll be back in a second all right here's the figure out of box and yeah this is a, this is an absolutely stunning figure great accessories great likeness I'm great everything about it. Um, little backstory, this was the Fans' Choice winner from 2016. Um, I think it was 2016, early 2016. Um, and some say that poll was a little rigged, but I don't know. Um, I think I voted for, for Dengar, but I can't remember. But we're getting Dengar anyway, so it doesn't really matter in the end. Um, I wasn't really that interested, um, but uh, yeah, now that I've got the figure in hand, wowee, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed, and uh, I hope this is a move Asbro does a bit more of, because yeah, it sort of just reignites that love I had for the expanded universe. Um, I'm, I'm not disappointed that it was sort of wiped out, wiped the slate clean. It was never canon anyway like there was never meant to line up with the movies it was always George's prerogative that the movies were what they were and all the books were basically fan fiction it's always been like that so um except nowadays where books are coming out that do line up with the movies but um so that, that's hearsay anyway so but in terms of accessories she comes with her helmet which is really awesome. Really nicely painted. It is a sort of clear yellow plastic that's been painted over the top. It does fit nicely over her head too. The body looks a little big, but it looks good. It's sort of, you can't sort of tuck her hair in, so it sort of fits nicely over the hair. And uh, the hair comes nicely at the back there. It looks quite good. She looks like a good pilot. Uh, look at her blaster here. She's like it's reminiscent of uh, her father's. Just looks good and it also fits nicely in her holster. And 
And then we have her purple bladed lightsaber. Which is a pretty cool hilt. Some little purple detailing. It's a little bit of... I'm not sure if it's blue or it's just really this reflection. A little silver button there. Little purple there. And that is unpeggable, but I'm not going to do that right now. But it does have a uh, hook on her belt. So you could have it displayed hanging on her belt as well. So that's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll have a look at the pilot gear because uh, the pilot gear and the leg straps are actually removable. And that's where this figure is an absolute winner in my book. Um, this thing that adds so much versatility to this figure. Um, they've done really well. You know, the chest box and, you know, the life support pizzos and stuff like that. These sort of straps are pretty malleable sort of plastic, so you can get some good range of movement with them still being there. When I first saw this, I got to see this figure when I was at uh, Celebration. And, uh, yeah, I was a little bit bummed that they had her in the pilot's gear on. I hope they just had her in a sort of... Um, you know, a Jedi outfit, whatever it is, she's wearing just a sort of standard outfit as opposed to a pilot. I didn't realise at the time this was removable. And it's uh, pretty well done too, so there's just a uh, peg there. And where is it? Yeah, the peg strap there. So we just pull that down the side there. Down the legs, and there we have it. And, uh, yeah, the articulation is where this figure really shines. It's really nicely done. It's got the ball jointed head. Um, there is a lot of movement in that upper torso joint. And then you get an ab crunch as well. So that is just... And it all just looks right. Like it looks like it fits. It looks good. It's not until you start twisting the figure sideways that it looks a little out of place. But, you know, full range back. A lot of movement forward. Looks great. <coughs> um, she, oh, she has shoulder shoulder joints, elbow joints, and again, look how far they go together. And that's both of them. So you can have a I some pretty awesome lightsaber poses with this figure. Um, those arms cross over perfectly. Yeah, look, it's fantastic. It really is. Really, really impressed with this one. She's got wrist joints. See that sort of in and out wrist move, wrist cocking movement. She's got the thigh joints. Uh, the hips, double joints in the knees, and ankles with those rockers. So again, you get, get this figure in some fantastic poses. I'm just trying to do it right now. You know, be it, but to be able to have a Jedi actually hold its lights, hold their lightsaber like that, is just awesome. Um, I hope Asbro find a way to do this with a lot more figures. Um, it's just, yeah, it's so good. And the face sculpt is awesome as well. Feel like one of the eyes is a slightly misprinted down a little bit. Um, sort of hasn't bothered me much. I've noticed a lot of people that are getting this figure already have the same issue with theirs. Um, so whether it's a batch um, production batch, but still she looks great. She's got that trademark solo smirk. The hair's really nicely sculpted. She looks awesome. The 
belt. There's a lot of great details on it. Nicely painted, really tidy. It's a really good figure, and I hope, I uh, hope we can get a Darth Kytus <laughs> or Jason Solo to go with this one. They would just pair up perfectly. Um, I still think they need to do Darth Malak to go with Revan. But um, yeah, it'd be great to see them pair these figures up. Give them a counterpart. Give them someone to be alongside. But this one is great. I definitely recommend picking this one up if you're a fan of the uh, old expanded universe. Those were some good days. A lot of good times reading the uh, old EU. <clears throat> but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Again, I apologize for my voice or lack thereof. Um, hopefully it clears up soon. <laughs> Because I've, uh, I've had enough. I want to be able to just talk and, you know, sing in the car. <laughs> but yeah, definitely let me drop some comments. Let me know what you think of this figure. Um, yeah, definitely interested to hear from you. Thank you very, very much for watching. And hopefully in my next video, I'll be speaking a lot clearer. So until then, guys, may the force be with you.